Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and I have something exciting for you today. I'm going to be kicking off a new series on the Simple Fast Multimedia Library. So what is the SFML or Simple Fast Multimedia Library about? Well, it's about building games and multimedia applications. This is a really powerful framework that developers have used for commercial game projects as well as indie games or just general hobby projects. So this is going to be a great framework for beginners and experts alike to take advantage of. So let's go ahead and hop in and just see a little bit more about the framework. So just hopping into the actual website, we can see it's available for many different platforms here, Windows, Linux, and Mac, which I'm going to show you how to set up and as well eventually the mobile platforms. Again, any language that you want to use, there's probably a binding for it. So that means the skills that you learn in this video series will apply regardless of the domain you're working in. For this series, again, we're going to be using C++ primarily as that's the most popular use case. And in general, well, if you're in my channel, you know I like using C++ and low-level languages. So with that said, we're going to have a fun time developing lots of different small applications and game projects with this library. So what we're going to learn is, well, in a sense, what you're going to find on the tutorials page here. That said, the tutorials don't explain everything, and they don't talk about data structures or trade-offs or often the why. Now, that said, this is a really great set of series of tutorials. But what I really want to do with you is go through the API documentation so you can see how I learned the SFML library. That way, if you can't find a tutorial, you'll at least have some sense of how to navigate the actual framework, understand how it's structured, and I think it's going to improve folks' object-oriented programming skills by just seeing how things are laid out in SFML. At the very least, reading the documentation will be a great skill for you. So folks, with that said, and all the cool things that we're going to be learning about the SFML library, I hope you're excited about this series. Make sure that you like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the series episodes as they get released, and I look forward to being your instructor throughout these tutorials here. We're going to have a lot of fun, so thanks for your time, and we'll see you in the next one.